Hmm. Hey guys, me again, Pope Girl. I'm joined by. Cowdy Adventure 246. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cow, you want to keep us short, and we are back again playing. Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, we continued on with our Mount Battle Challenge. And, and so far, we've been doing alright, since okay. none of these battles are actual any challenge. Mm -hmm. I just hope the hundred battle is some resemblance of one, though. Well, remember last time you were asking for a challenge, and we got one? Yeah. Dark day, dark day during this channel. Oh, not necessarily a dark day, but... <laughs> yeah. Be careful what- great example of be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. But there's one thing I- about me, I never learn. From my mistakes. I can repeat them. Again. And again. And again. Same. Hey, uh, Fuyu, can you lower the camera a tiny bit? Oh. Should you also ask your brother to, like, turn down his... Alright. I just don't want to uh, risk copyright. Okay, can you still hear it? Not really. Did he put on Good. headphones? No, I just told him to lower the volume. Okay, thank you. I really well, need... Well, somebody tells me he might try to increase it. If he does, just ask him to put on headphones. Like, is he watching it on a TV? Mm. Or on a personal device? Mm. No, he's watching it on his phone. Okay. You know, lately I've seen a lot of kids with their own phones. Lately. Yeah. That's pretty much the American life for ya. Pretty much. Well, part of the child's life. I mean, like, where I live, like, honestly, if I was more in the urban, in an urban environment, it would be a lot better for me, because then I could actually, you know, get out and about and actually <coughs> do stuff without having to rely on someone with a car. Because one of my parents works during the day, I don't want, the other one at night, and they're both really tired when they come home. Um, so if I ever want to go anywhere... I wouldn't want to ask them when they come home tired. And the only, like, thing, like, and I tend to ride a, um, like a bus, like a small bus to school and back. But, yeah, I guess you could say I'm basically trapped where I live. Oh, uh, when it comes to wanting to go out and about. So, I kind of get how Pharaoh feels in Skinny's basement. <laughs> yeah, but... Well. I'm pretty sure that basement is a lot smaller than your home. Yeah, but all jokes aside, this is a very serious issue that affects lots and lots of people. Not just, like, teenagers like me, like me, but, like, the elderly as well. Because those who are too old to use a car, um, they base, their homes basically become prisons for them in the suburbs because they aren't able to go and get groceries or whatever. In a city, like, if any of you live in a city or, like, don't have any experience being in the suburbs, I'm not sure if you'd completely understand how aggravating this, it, it feels, but, yeah. Well, I guess I, I got lucky. Yeah. Heck, yeah, most of the malls, shopping areas, the place to get to, it's in driving distance, but it's also in walking distance. The only... I might come. The only thing in walking distance from where I live is a gas station across the street from the park I live in. That is it. Wow. And that's not exactly a short walk from uh, my house. Like, it's short enough where I can, you know, walk there within a reasonable amount of time, but it's also across a highway. And my mom doesn't like me going across that highway. Yeah, it's understandable. So, you have no idea what would happen on a highway. Yeah, if I ever got a job, it would probably be at that gas station, though. Because that is literally the only place I can walk to, and I can't really get a job. I want to get a job, but I basically can't because I have no way to get out to the job unless it was at that station. 
And I don't honestly want to work at that station. I want to do something more like retail or something. And like this this issue, I mean, like it drives me crazy because I don't have a license yet. I don't have a car myself. I'm I'm gonna wait until I'm old until I'm 18 before I get a license. Um, I don't have. Let's see. I don't have a car. I don't have a license. So I have no way to get my butt out of this house. Um, and to anywhere. I don't have a job, which I could have used, could use to what a about car permit? and such. And I'm sorry if I'm sounding really like um upset about this, but this issue is it it drives me crazy because. I am bored out of my mind every single day because I have nothing to do after I get home from school. And if I could, I would love to go out into the city and just, you know, do whatever. Like, I don't know, hit an arcade or go to a cafe or whatever. I don't think I've ever actually been to a cafe. I'm mean, like, it's a lot better than where I used to live, which you couldn't even call it a neighborhood because it was pretty much just in a house in the woods with a dirt driveway, that, that's basically it, but this issue affects a lot of people, and I'm mean, like, if there was a, a public transportation thing, like a bus line, like a, a bus route, like a city bus route that went right by the entrance of uh, my mobile home park, and stopped at, that, at the entrance of it, I would actually be able to get a job because then I would, if I could, I could go and get on that bus or get a ticket or whatever I need to ride it on the bus. <coughs> but because I can't, I'm basically trapped in my house every day unless my parents, like unless my mom wants me to go shopping with her. Um, but yeah, I mean like this issue, it's serious business and it, again, aggravates me a lot because I mean like the only my mom sometimes yells at me for being on my phone all day long but video games and games on my phone is basically the only thing I can do um because again I can't go out into the city and I can't I basically can't get a job because I don't have a car and I need a car just to get out of this neighborhood and go out and do stuff. So, yeah. Wow. I had no idea that it affected you that much. Yeah. There's an Adam Rooms episode you... that touches base on it. And a lot more topics concerning this. I think it's Adam Rooms the Suburbs is the exact episode, but yeah. Basically touches base on why suburbs are bad. And, well, I think he specifically like does, like, Cossacks or something like that, or I forget what it's called, but basically, like, it's a, I guess, uh, kind of like the end of the street or something in suburbs, like, with the, uh, circle part and all that, but, yeah. Um, he touches based on why this is, like, it's okay for little kids, like, toddlers and young children, like, I don't know, four, five, six years of age, but when you're talking about people who are, like, 16, 17, 18, 19, people around my age, it's, it's basically, uh, like the devil's home for us, because unless we have a car, we can't get anywhere, and I'm not about to ask any out of my parents to take me anywhere, because one, I don't know enough about the city to know where I want to go, two, they are tired, uh, like crazy, Oh, okay, maybe not, like, crazy, but they are at least pretty tired when they come home. And three, um, I just don't want to pester them with that too much. Like, if I had my own car and a license, it would be great. I could actually go out and do stuff with my, and actually do something with my life instead of basically being like Rapunzel in the tower. Yeah, that's basically what this, what this kind of situation is. It's like Rapunzel being trapped in the tower. That's basically how I feel every day. Minus the whole long hair and all that, but... Yeah, if any of you have seen Tangled, you know that Rapunzel was trapped in a tower up until she was a teenager. And then she was lucky that she got out. But, yeah. This is... a major, major issue. Have you considered trying to get a learner's permit? 
Uh, when I turn 18, I will, but that won't be a, for a good number of months. But, I do have an idea that could solve this kind of issue. Um, Can you tell me? What? Can you tell me? Of course. Um, well, actually, a couple ideas. One, um, have public service, like public transportation services, uh, make, um, suburban areas, like mobile home parks or trailer parks, whatever you want to call them, um, have a stop or two at those kinds of locations. <coughs> and, like, of course, post it here and there so the people who live there know about it. And, like, two, maybe residents, like, this is more of a residential idea, but, yeah, there's some residents, um, who probably are looking to make a buck, um, and have a license. They could, like, charge, like, a dollar or two to the parents to bring their teenagers, I don't know, to the city or to a friend's house or basically, um, drive, basically be, like, their taxi cab. These are some ideas. I'm not sure how well they would work. I know for the second one, you would have to, like, basically probably do, like, you basically have to have the parents' permission, but, yeah. I think it would be a good idea. Like, these are, uh, kind of good ideas that would definitely help a lot of people trapped in the suburbs. It's an idea. And, like said, that's gonna be a lot of work. Yeah. And for the elderly ones, um, they could basically order, like, say an elderly person who's too old to drive, lives by themselves, and this is a real kind of situation that a lot of people tend to face, as far as I know, but yeah. They live by themselves, um, if they are, if, now, I don't want to say, say be stereotypical, but I do know that a good portion of elderly people don't know how to work uh, technology that us millennials and youngsters pretty much know how to work. Such as self, like a smartphones and such, I guess. But, yeah, they, uh, yeah, they can be... Uh, I mean, I, a younger mind has a high... I mean, a younger mind has a easier time learning than a person with an old mind since their brain is no longer developing. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that, like, if... Like, if they can work it, or if they know someone who can help them learn how to work it, they could basically, like, um, they can make an app, uh, like, grocery delivery kind of app, and basically order groceries, and the peop some people at the supermarket could, like, that they're ordering from could deliver it to the person's house, and then they get paid once the delivery is complete. Huh. Interesting ideas. Mm-hmm. But to be personal, to be but personally, I'm fine with just being in my house. I'm kind of an introvert. I prefer to be indoors more than outdoors. That is true for some people, but me. Again, I feel like Rapunzel trapped in the tower at my house You're not at school. Basically, and like it's not that bad, but that's basically how I feel. Because I'm home all the time, and I basically have so much free time until bedtime that I'm bored out of my mind every day. And this kind of problem bugs the heck out of me. And I'm pretty sure it bugs the heck out of numerous other kids and teens who want to go out but can't because their parents work all day or all night or whatever. <coughs> And all that, and they basically aren't able to get their own um, themselves out uh, without cars, motorcycle, or whatever. Mm. Give me water. That's mm, is a difficult problem. Not yeah. Like, think of, uh, yeah. Although the grocery app for the elderly sounds like a pretty neat idea. Yeah. So, you feel better getting all that off your chest? Off your mind? Yeah, it's been bugging me for a long time. And honestly, it will probably still bug me for a long time. 
even after I get a license because this has problems basically plagued me for so long, my entire life. And like when I was a little kid, I didn't care. I liked being able to have so much free time to play and whatever, but that was mostly when I was like really little, like elementary school aged. But now that I'm almost done with high school kind of age, I want to actually get out and explore and, you know, learn what, uh, like, basically, like, get a job and all that. <coughs> I understand that. <clears throat> Just so I can actually waste, not waste my time on stuff. Because I know I basically waste my time on my video games every single day. I'm like, video games are fun and nice, but I would rather go out and live my life than basically be indoors gaming all day. I know that's probably not something you would expect to hear from an LPer and someone who loves LPing like I do, but, well, those are some cold hard facts, but they're, they are, they are basically true can true can be. Yeah. And honestly, if any of you are trapped in the suburbs like I am, Please comment below and tell me how you feel about being in the suburbs so much. I just realized I spent more than half of this video talking about how terrible the suburbs are for kids like me. Well, it's important for you to get it off your mind. Especially yeah. for people to listen, with people listening. Yeah. Also, it affects my brother a lot as well, pretty much, because he spends a lot of his uh, time in his room just doing whatever. And, like, honestly, he sleeps a lot. A lot more than he sh Like, a little bit more than he should, I think, but yeah. I mean, like, you can't exactly blame him given that we are trapped in the suburbs, basically. But, yeah. He is not. He has been trying to get a job for at least a year now, unsuccessfully. Um, and yeah, this this problem affects me a lot. It affects my brother a lot. I'm pretty sure it affects my parents a lot as well because they're probably stressing about getting me or my brother a car and a license and, or a permit or whatever like that. And having to like work around that in their schedules and all that, and I'm honestly you now kind of freaking out because like I don't want them to have to put even more stuff on their plates because um they already have enough on their plates. And my parents, to be honest, are not exactly that young. They are like around age 50, and I don't want them to have to push themselves too hard. Understandable, but sometimes you gotta learn that instead of giving something, put something onto your parents' plates, you gotta put it on your own plate. I know. That's why I want to be able to get out and do stuff on my own. I can have, like, I do want to have a license. I really want to have a driver's license. Just so I can get out and do my own thing when I want to, uh, like, head out. I want to have the freedom to be able to get out. However, that freedom is a three-letter word spelled car. Like that says, yeah, that is like C A R car. I messed up the little thing, but yeah, you get my drift. Yeah, I understand that. A car, a truck, a motorcycle, things like that are basically the only key, like are basically the only things with the key to, of freedom when you live in the suburbs, in my opinion. That's pretty much for any other kid or any teenager, really. Cars pretty much gives them a wide variety of freedom. Yeah, I mean, like, if I lived in an urban area, like, in, in a city, um, and I could actually walk to places, I wouldn't give, I wouldn't, I would say, a car? No thanks, I can walk there. But, because I live in the suburbs, I basically need a car just to get out of my house. And like to get any farther than the gas station across the street. Cause do you know how annoying it is having like the only thing within reasonable walking distance is the gas station across the street. I mean like 
I have no problem with the gas station itself. It's kind of cool. It even has a phone, like one of those old, like, pay phones at it. Whether it works or not, I don't know. But, yeah. And if no one in the audience, if no one watching this knows what a pay phone is, it's basically what they used instead, like, before the cell phone or home phone was invented. Well, okay, at least before the cell phone was invented. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it's actually a little interesting, actually. I was watching a little video, and apparently, about hacking, apparently, a person managed to find out a way by using a little toy whistle they found in a cereal box, box to emit a certain frequency that caught, that tricks the phone, the payphone to thinking that you paid to call, hmm. for the call. That's interesting, actually. Yep. But... Hello? Oh. Hmm? Is something wrong? Yeah, I was like... I just really... Really, really wish that I wouldn't have... Like, if I could actually get out of my house and, you know, get out to the city without having to use a car... That would be sheer bliss. However... That is not gonna happen anytime soon. And yeah, it's basically the devil's home for uh, people like me because we're trapped in the suburbs. I know I already said that, but I had a little trouble trying to get my one, trying to get, trying to figure out certain things. But I managed just to work around it by taking a little bit for myself, doing it a bit, a bit for myself. Right now, I'm just studying it up for, to get my learner's permit test. Although, it's going a little slow. It is? There's a lot to read in the driver's manual. 44 pages in the first manual. Wow. In the first chapter. I remember I went to the DMV not too long ago. Um, like with my mom to do stuff, and like I remember that I had mentioned wanting to get a driver's license there, and the lady at the desk gave me like a book of like handbook to like help me, um, uh, like kind of have like a head start a bit for when I do the whole license thing, but I honestly have not read it once. Study it a bit if you plan to get a license or a permit. Yeah, but. I but think nowadays, the manual is online. Yeah, but I got a hard copy. But, yeah, I think it's honestly sad that us, uh, like, that people who live in the suburbs, like me, have to rely on a car. Just to get their butts out of the house and into town to do whatever, like grocery shopping, going to hang out with friends, just being able to live their life, they need a car. I think that's stupid. I wish I lived in the city. Oh, that would be a lot better because then I could actually walk places, but again, that's not the case at all. cities before, I believe, New York City, but they tend to be a bit Crazy. dangerous. You know, that and a bit dangerous if you're walking your own. I don't mean like something like New York City, I just meant like, um, into a more urban environment with stores and restaurants and houses and whatnot around where you would live and all that, but <coughs> where I live, it's just uh, mobile homes. Uh. It's basically all that, all, every structure, like every building around where I live is another mobile home. Much like the one I live in. And it irks me to no end that, like, if I ever w want to get out and actually live my life, I need a car.
being trapped in the suburbs is no fun at all for people like me because, again, I want to actually get out and do stuff and be able to actually live my life instead of basically being like Rapunzel. But. Sadly, I don't think that's going to happen until I get an actual driver's license or something. That's patience, Pokey Girl. Patience. You'll yeah. get yours soon. Knock it off with the solar beams! Well, at least it's aiming towards Pokemon that do Entei, who is a fire type. I wish it aimed honestly towards Umbreon because of the size of the fence stat. <coughs> and... Blossom down. Bell Blossom is down. How long is the recording going on? I kind of lost track. Uh, 26 minutes and 35 seconds so far. Ah. I wonder how long you ranted for. Probably 26 minutes and 35 seconds. <laughs> well, it's kind of important for to rant sometimes. Yeah, I mean, like, this, it these kind of issues, again, bug me to no end. Because, I'm like, this affects me every single day of my life. And I want it to stop affecting me. Because, I don't, I don't want to end up kind of, pretty much, basically, being stuck in the house every day. Like, I'm lucky I'm still in school because I can then, I can get out and keep my, and like, do stuff and actually, you know, keep my sanity. Because I'd probably go crazy if I spent 24 hours... A day, seven days a week, 600, uh, 365 days a year, 366 on leap years, but yeah, basically being every day of my life trapped in my house, I would probably go insane. Uh. So, yeah, I like my house, but I also don't like my house because I'm trapped in it every day. Back to Discord? Mm, nah, it shouldn't be a problem. It will be fun for me to see how much tougher you can become. There's just every time to go. Before you go to it, be sure to get your Pokey coupons in the break room. Like, if the screen is going black a lot, you probably won't be able to see what we're doing. We'll continue on the battle challenge in the next episode because we're already at the 29, uh, 30 second minute mark. I know we're not quite 30 minutes in, like, 30 minutes, but it's close enough. Catch you guys later. Catch you later, folks.